Morning in Port-au-Prince. Another sunrise. Another day since a 7.0 earthquake devastated much of Haiti's capital. And you still don't have to go far to find heartbreak even a year later. People die. Six. Six people die. One-year-old Cristela Robert bears the scars of the tragedy. The infant's father says she was born on January 12th, the day the quake struck. Pearson Fritz Robert said she doesn't know her mother. The baby's name means God is here. That's because she survived and her mother did not. She was killed by falling debris hours after she delivered her daughter. Pierre lives along the walls of the destroyed Catholic cathedral and begs for food for his child. <laughs> Haiti still needs a massive cleanup and rebuilding, but the hustle and bustle of hard scrabble Haitian life continues. <laughs> Marie Andre and her two daughters live in a makeshift tent right by the side of where her husband and infant girl remain buried in rubble. In five years, if the city improves, I would like to go back home with my kids to leave living life in a tent. Living in a tent is really hot. Normal for Haitians is dysfunction, corrupt government, disease, poverty, and high crime. A year later, it's still that recipe for dysfunction, but you can also add disaster. If the Americans occupy the city, then this would be good. Listen, it's always trouble. Look, there's trouble here for a long time. We're asking for Obama to occupy the country. Since the earthquake struck the country a year ago, it's as if Haiti has been stuck in neutral. From the tent cities, which litter the streets of the capital, all the way to the presidential palace. Still lying in ruin, still not rebuilt. John Mone, the Associated Press, Port-au-Prince, Haiti.